everyone knows, I'm sure, you got the railgun that spawns in here. But this is usually what happens, you get fucking an ass ton of rails and... That didn't sound... an ass ton of rails, dude. <laughs> Hey guys, Chob on Billy here, and today I'm going to show you what to do before you build your base on Washington. So today's video is going to be uh, going to be like my last what to do before you build your base video, um, except I'm going to split the map into into fourths. Uh, better turn it back on. Yeah, so basically I'm going to split it, you know, as as one would. And we're going to start up here, and then I'll move down here, over here, and up there. So yeah. So the first thing, it's basically the same tip as the first video. Uh, okay. Um, just, you're going to want to head to the farm, usually because almost most of the spawns up in this area are right around here. So, so yeah, you can get civ ammo here. I'm going to put a list on screen as I ramble about the random things there are. But yeah, there's food and water, zombies, got lots of clothes here, so, uh, I don't know, it's not greatest for storage, but just for bandages and whatnot. Oh, check them shooting. Check them shooting, that's not even a phrase. Oh, and look at that. So, perfect. Um, yeah, you can get a chainsaw here at the farm, and that's that's a big ticket item, as I'm sure everyone knows. Oh, nice fancy hat. No, that looks dumb. Eh. Yeah, we'll keep it. But yeah, get seeds and stuff. Um, it's just it's not nothing like super great, but it's just just a lot of good stuff to get you started. And like I said, this is what to do before you build your base, so getting a chainsaw is ideal. So I'll usually head straight for Scorpion 7 right after uh, right after stopping by the farm. You can you can swing by Everett if you want, but I, I just find, I don't know, there's not a lot of really good stuff in there compared to Scorpion 7. So once you get up here, um, yeah, there is military loot, special military loot, there's construction spawns over there, and I think a single ranger spawn up top there. Up top of that tower. And, uh, yeah, so I just killed a few zombies here, and as you can see, look at that. Well, it's basically busted, but whatever. Sabertooth, Viper. But yeah, guys, so you go here, and you'll see there's never going to be this much food. I'll tell you that right now. But there is food in here chemicals, which is really handy if you want to do a claim flag in the future. More chemicals. And this is kind of the big ticket stuff here. Well, for me at least. Vaccines and purification tablets. And more of the same in vitamins. So yeah, it's a really good... Sp like, I... Where? Oh. <coughs> Easy. But yeah, guys, there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, I'll put a full list on the screen. I don't know why I keep trying to name everything when I can just use this fancy list technology. But yeah, and then everyone knows, I'm sure, you got the railgun that spawns in here. But this is usually what happens. You get fucking an ass ton of rails, and that didn't sound... An ass ton of rails. Ugh. Anyways, you get a bunch of rails and no railgun. There we go, Viper Mags. Now, if you spawn on the bottom right part of the map, near uh, Tacoma, which is on the left of the screen, and Paradise Point over there, um, you're pretty well set because Paradise Point is money. It's got, it's got what? They got military, construction, campground spawns, uh, and medical spawns. So yeah, guys, as you can see right off the bat, um, they have 
all different kinds of zombies. There's military, farmer, civilian, civilian, looter. Whoa, 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 whoa. So as you can see, they got some shotgun shells here and a saw, which is a big one for your, you know, building your base later. And, um, yeah, it's just all around, guys. They have, like, everything here. There's, pretty sure I already said it, but military, they got special military, campground, construction spawns, so. You're just set all around if you come here. The bottom left of the map is, uh, it's great for weapons and ammo, not so great for uh, base building at least right off the start but yeah you've got uh, Olympia military base and you've got the farm which is kinda just out of eyesight kinda up that little dirt road there and you've also got the ranger station kinda tucked back behind the military base and uh, it's, it's a pretty good spot to go just cause well you've got your ranger loot which is always I don't know I really like ranger ranger weapons and stuff but yeah, you got gas and water there. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's usually a boat. May as well just call that a slug, really. It's so goddamn slow. Personally, I like heading to the ranger station just because, I don't know, I find Olympia military base tends to get a little overpopulated and it's where everyone wants to go. Obviously, this is. A little more out of the way but I don't know I find you take a little bit more time you get that much further along in the game that, that's what I find at least it's been working for me so I just want to show you guys uh, I killed a few zombies out here so yeah you got your thief top you got balaclavas balaclavas whatever the hell they're called um, what do we got in here bunch of random stuff really this guy apparently doesn't hear me so you've got some mechanic stuff in here uh, you've got gas water this guy's following you and I think in here is some construction oh no they got the attachments in here okay so yeah here's your rain where is this guy two options uh, if you're if you haven't found an axe you can either try the fire station right over camp punch but uh, yeah you can see it over there or you can try the farm to get a chainsaw so yeah guys one of the last spots to spawn is in the top left of the map and um, there's a few up here but I don't think there's as much as the other uh, kind of quadrants if you will but yeah you've got a few options here Right off the bat, you can either head, uh, you can try Seattle. It kind of depends on the server, though. If there's a lot of people in the server, you might not have the best of luck. But if not, then yeah, you can head up the gun shop, or the gun store, sounds dumb, the police station, or the military uh, loot in the middle of town. Or you can go, I'll show you on my map. No, I won't. Or you can go out to the back of the golf course and there's that helicopter crash site. Now once you get uh, at least some kind of weapon that's when you're going to want to start looking for your base, well at least I'd want to start looking for for something to build a crate or whatever. So you're basically you have you have three options all of which I don't know the, the firm's probably your best bet I guess but it's I don't know I don't like traveling far I'm lazy. Um, yeah, you can go to Ken McFarm, like I mentioned in the last little uh, section there, to get a chainsaw. Down in this park right here, if you guys can see, right on this edge of the park, there's campground spawns there. So there's uh, wetsuits, fishing rods, uh, camp axes, uh, all kinds of stuff. So that's one option. And then there's also uh, Kamano, eh, Kamano Campground, which has quite a quite a lot of good stuff. They have canteens there, uh, they have some more weapons if you, you know, <laughs> your luck ran dry on both of those first two spots. 
Uh, there's usually a little bit of food. I think there's fishing rods there too. So yeah, once you get geared up and you visit one of those two spots, you should be ready to set up your base. Hey guys, so I hope this video wasn't too all over the place. My last video on PEI was a little more specific, and if you haven't seen that, I'll put an annotation on the top left right now. But um, yeah, if you watch both of these together and just use those tips, uh, you should be that much better off in the early game and until you can get your base up and running. So if you liked what you saw, leave a like. Um, if you have any ideas for future base building tips episodes, uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to keep updated with uh, more content coming soon. Thanks a lot for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you next video.